Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how you can add expandable sections in any of your Confluence page. Expandable sections give you a lot of good benefits. Say for example, you do not want some information to be displayed all the time on your page. So you can add that particular information, say for example, list of you know things that people need to follow when they are going to raise a defect or check in the code. So you can add those sort of things into the expandable sections. It is pretty easy to add the expandable sections in your page. So what we'll do is we'll quickly go to the space of project A and here I have created this project plan play page. So if I'll go to this project plan page, what you have to do is say for example in this one you have to add the expandable section, edit this particular page and I had already used this expandable section before so that's why you see that and after editing the page here what you need to do is you need to simply either go to this drop down and go to view more and search for the expand right okay if it is not visible here then simply it will be in somewhere here okay so you see this expand so you can either insert from here okay or the shortcut is forward slash and say expand okay you start typing expand and it will be listing here you select that and paste all the key points say for example list of points that people need to follow or these are some of the key information that somebody needs to follow before raising defect so you put all that information in the expandable section here and in the title you provide the title of this expandable section so i will say read this information before raising defects all right so say for example people have to follow certain guidelines before they raise the defect or how to raise the defects so certain points you want to specify there and you do not want your page to have this lengthy information to be displayed all the time so you can put it in the expandable section similarly if there is a de some development guidelines or the coding standards those sort of things you can put those in the expandable section when you are once you are happy with that is you can also go wide or more wider which will be the full screen or reduce the width of this particular expandable section to delete the expandable section you simply click on this little icon remove and it will remove this expandable section so once you have added this expandable section added the title click on publish and once you will publish this particular page you will see that this expandable section is visible here right so read this information before raising defect if somebody will click on this they will get all the points or the information that they need to look for or read out for raising the defects right so this is as simple as just you know adding a macro and putting the information there so this is how you will add an expandable section within confluence pages so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching